Good day, grade 3 learners! Welcome to our Science 3, Quarter 2, Week 3, Day 1. Our topic for today is Living Things and Non-Living Things. Before we begin, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you! Activating Prior Knowledge In the previous lesson, we learned how to observe, predict, and measure things around us. Today, we will use those skills to find out which things are living and non-living. Look around the classroom and outside the window. What are some things you see? Today, we're going to discover how we can tell if something is alive or not. Let's explore and find out together. Lesson Purpose Intention what do you see in these pictures? Lesson Language Practice Living Things and Non-Living Things Living Things are They need food, water, and air where non-living things do not need food, water, and air. Living things can grow and change, while living things do not grow and change on their own. Living things can move on their own, while non-living things cannot move on their own. Living things can reproduce, while non-living things cannot reproduce. Here are some examples of living things, people, animals, and plants. Some examples of non-living things are rock, chair, toy, house. Reading the key idea stem. Have you ever wondered why a tree grows but a rock does not? Why do animals move but chairs stay in one place? These are the questions we will answer today as we learn about living and non-living things. For our task, here are the rules. Here is the chart. And here is the guide questions. Answer the following guide questions. A. Living things. Choose two living things from your list and complete these sentences. For letter B, non-living things. Choose two non-living things from your list and complete these sentences. Here are the possible answers. Developing understanding of the key idea stem. 
look at the following chart. Things I saw in the school ground. We have plant, dog, rock, chair, bird, and water bottle. Plant is a living thing because it grows, needs sunlight, and can reproduce. Dog is also a living thing. It eats, moves, and reacts to people. Rock is a non-living. It does not grow or reproduce. Chair is also a non-living. It cannot move or respond to surroundings. Bird is a living thing. It can fly, grow, and lay eggs. Water bottle is a non-living. It does not change or respond to anything. Deepening understanding of the key idea stem. Class, look at this small object. This is among the seeds. Do you think it is a living or non-living? The possible answer is living things or non-living things because it's not moving. Some of you said it is living and some said it is non-living. Let's think, if I keep this seed in a drawer, will it grow? No, it will not grow. But what if I plant it in soil and water it every day? What will happen? That's right, it will grow into a plant. Here are two seeds, one is dry, the other is sprouting. Which one looks more alive? Correct, the sprouting seed. Does this mean the dry seed is not living? It is still living, but it needs water and soil to grow. It's like sleeping, waiting to grow. Now, let's classify the seeds belong to which group, living or non-living. Correct living things what about this rock is it living or non-living correct the answer is it is non-living good now who can give me examples of living things in our school or community the possible answer the possible answers are dogs cats trees birds and people an example of non-living things like chairs, tables, books, rock, and air. Very good. Remember, living things can grow, breathe, and make more of their own kind, like plants and animals. Non-living things do not grow or make more of themselves, like rocks and tables. Making Generalization Living things grow, breathe, move, and reproduce, while non-living things do not grow, do not breathe, and cannot make more of their kind. Evaluating Learning Direction Look at the pictures or objects below. Decide if each one is living or non-living. Write L for living and NL for non-living on the blank. Here are the expected answer. Great job today everyone! You listen well, share your thoughts, and work hard. Keep up the good work. Always remember to read, learn, observe, and have fun. See you next time!